<laughs> We're game to play games, and I just drank a lot of coffee. Oh boy, you're in for a treat. Although that's not going to hit you for another like 20 minutes, because that's how coffee uh, works. Well, in a couple episodes, <laughs> you'll find out. Next episode. All right, so uh, cool. We have uh, we're picking our new character. We just played as Melting, and he got crushed. Uh, or Icky? I did pretty well. No, you did better than you did with what's his name? Fish. Fish? I because I always get myself killed with the dodge roll. To be honest. <laughs> Uh, not as bad as it used to be, but still. All right, cool. So, Fish, we're not going to do them again. Crystal, we could show you, like, easy mode. Uh, Eyes is unique in a lot of ways, can see in the dark, and has the telekinesis melting we did in Plant. Plant's a cool character. I like Plant. Because he's faster and he can snare enemies, so we're actually going to give him a go. You know, I like the snare ability, but I ultimately play Plant because of the increased movement speed. It's so useful. I mean, of course, they can equally kill you just as fast because it's harder <laughs> to control them. Um, yeah. But I think if you get used to them, it becomes really, really easy to dodge stuff. Yeah, it, it, it's one of those things where in any game, uh, when there's a speed difference, uh, mm -hmm. that doesn't necessarily make that better. Yeah, Binding of Isaac is a really good example of that, actually. Once you get to, up to max speed in that game, it tends to be more difficult than it is helpful. Yes. Although, I guess in that game, there's a little bit more... Um, Physics, I guess, is, is the word that I, I would use to describe it. There's more, more momentum, you know, like, if you move in a direction, you have this, like, kind of like a, um, you slow down if, if you stop. If you stop, you, like, keep m moving until... I understand. You, uh, you're describing what Nick would say are splashy controls. Yeah. Of course, Nick says that with, like, negative connotations, but... It, yeah, he... That's... I mean, Nick is very picky about his, his games, so... Yes. And that's why Nick, a.k.a. Harry Poppins, is not always on the show. Because <laughs> <laughs> that, that's... It, usually, usually how it goes is he'll be like, Chris, we need to play this on GDPG. I'm like, all right, Nick, we can oh, play yeah, the pop gun. This pop was, gun? It's... I don't remember. This is it. Okay, so it shoots, oh. like, super fast, right? But the problem with it is uh, that... Whoo, it's perfect in scenarios like this. Uh, the problem with it is it does like half the damage of a normal bullet. So it's it's weak, but it's quick. Yes. Okay. It's like a... Oh. Boom. Ooh. Early for a laser. Oh, it's a laser pistol. It's a laser pistol. Okay. It usually takes two shots to kill something, but it goes through people, so... I really right. like the laser weapons, too, because you have that long line where your your shot takes... So it's it's sort of like having a laser sight, except it consumes ammo. Um, I Basically, think, yeah. I think it makes it a lot easier to aim, though, for targets that are farther away. The problem away. I have with laser guns is usually they just have low ammo capacity in Ooh, general. That is Some a kills good ability. Some kills ammo. Lucky shot is so good. And then scary face, less enemy HP. Oh, my God. You're That's killing me, all, Smalls. Yeah, these are all really good. Uh... I'm gonna pass on these two. Oh no! You know, I no, think I'm that's, pass on that that's a really good response though to have to the abilities is to see the list and be like, oh, ah. they're all so good. Okay, so knowing plant right, uh, it's probably less HP, not as big a deal because I can snare them right, because I can hold them off, get to the next people. Some kills regenerate ammo. I feel like ammo in general is just nice to have, and I have a laser pistol that doesn't have a lot of ammo. But this you're also is, choosing... It's always random. The The amount of ammo you get from mm. uh, Lucky Shot is random. I guess that's also more useful... Well, useful more often than regenerating health, simply because you may not always have had... Might not have always taken damage. Yeah, that's fair. Um, but at the same time, that could also be the thing that keeps you alive. I think... Uh, you know what? I'm going to go with a Lucky Shot. Okay. Yeah, I mean, having less enemy HP is nice, but the thing is, if you find a powerful enough gun, then suddenly it becomes redundant. Because then they have less HP, but you still would have killed them in one shot kind of thing, you know? I think my struggle with plants in his, his second ability is that I just, I always forget to use it. I get wrapped up in the combat. It's all about picking and choosing which targets are important at the moment. And just also the movement ones. Like, so the guys mm -hmm. who are, like, annoying because they're going to move at you and hit you in the face. Now, you can put a trap on the ground where an enemy isn't, right? Can they walk into it? Yep, absolutely. Oh, okay. That so actually that, that happened becomes earlier. useful. Oh, my God. Uh, well, you already have a laser pistol, right? I have a laser pistol, but I think I'm going to ditch a laser pistol for the uh, crossbow. Ooh, yeah, crossbow is, is one of those good, um, like, power weapons that you get early on. Whoa. 
when he charges, he like oh sh did I just miss a bunch down. of rads? I did, didn't I? No, 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 no. Oh, that was you only took man. one damage from that last shot. So the first shot, I think you took three damage, and the second shot, you only took one. It feels like sometimes it's random. Uh, it's either sure. random or maybe it's like based on the type of attack. It seems a little strange. I guess that's an ability that only you would expect from a boss. Because if that happened with other guys. Unless it's like based on where you were hit, which would be very out of place for this game, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, alright. You got this. I'm actually happy I have a machine gun for this area. Not as good as having like a shotgun, but hey, boy. Alright, so this green guys, they're just gonna keep regenerating because they regenerate from a source. Oh, Jesus, Ooh. come on. What I get I'm plant. I shouldn't have a problem with those guys. You know, one one good thing about the level design, so, I mean, this game obviously functions on random uh, generation of its levels, right? Yeah. Um, I think they were really smart, though, about how they kind of handled the behaviors for each of the zones. Um, like, this level, for example, is very, like, tight and, and uh, n like, narrow passageways. Oh. Wow. Oh, you already did it. I missed out on all the rads. And the See, that's what we were talking about earlier, about, like, you didn't know that... Like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, he got oh, me. Oh, oh, Jesus. All right. Mm, mm, shameful. Shameful. That is pretty shameful. Mm. But one thing I was going to say is, I think that the level design is actually pretty smart in the sense that it really does encourage you to kind of switch up your weapons. For example, yeah. the first level, you pretty much just benefit from any kind of weapon, which I think is, is smart. You do, but you usually actually want like to keep your revolver or have something that uses that basic ammo. Oh, I guess that's God, fair, yeah. Uh, um, but like, second level, I think you really, really benefit from close range weapons or, or melee weapons. Um, I think machine guns work too, but I think machine guns are probably better on earlier in, in World 1 where you encounter those the larva where you have a lot of enemies, a lot of weak enemies. A lot of weak enemies, so they die in, in that one hit anyway, but more ammo, or more shots at that point is more important. Mm -hmm. But in stage two, you're dealing with so many enemies up close and personal and in close quarters all the time that having melee weapons becomes really beneficial. And then in, in stage three, where you have all the exploding like vehicles and all sorts of other stuff going on, I think having the mid-ranged, very powerful weapons are really what helps. And then later on you'll get those big bombastic things and mm -hmm. those are awesome for later levels but then like you loop around and you want to pick the other weapons again. It really does kind of even out in that regard. Um, it's it's really good though. I think if they didn't have build the level design around that then the levels would just kind of feel like an aesthetic change and nothing more. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Um, higher ammo max. Okay, we're going to go for... This is really good to get early on, but slower enemy bullets kind of obviously works for this character. Uh, hmm. I don't know if the ammo max will really matter. I mean, you're pretty far from hitting your max right now with any of the ammunition types. Right now? Yeah. Yeah. I guess there's always the chance that the ability could come back. Although, I guess, I don't know what the chances are that... Once you've seen an ability, do you think is less likely to occur again? Mm. Or is it just purely random? I mean, if you have an ability, it's never going to show up again. I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, it won't show up again. You can't double up on them. Uh, I don't know if there is a thing that basically says, aha, you missed out on your chance. You're going to have to wait a while for this to happen again. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm I guess... just going to keep the revenge wrench over the revolver. Yes, yeah, I'm drawing you closer. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Ooh, that was nice. So yeah, when you God damn screwdriver. When you um yeah, when you hit the these spawn things that spawn the little guys with a melee, it will just murder all of them. Mm hmm Oh, you got me. Yeah, that's that's this, actually what is this? What is, this? What is it? Oh, I think that's a really important ability actually for melee weapons, because say you're a melee focused character, um, the little guys would kind of be either a nightmare because then you have to like get up close and personal while they're swarming you. Um, although I guess the range of attack might be enough to obviate that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, either way, I think it was a smart choice. <laughs> well, we we can continue the, that discussion. We still have 20 seconds. After I kill Big Bandit here. <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. You didn't see it, but telekinesis. I was like, oh god, yeah, that's right, I have this ability. 
I'm just su surprised that you avoided the bullets. Wait, does telekinesis pull bullets at all? It, it pushes them away from you. Does so the it? The enemies come closer to you, but the uh, uh, telekinesis pushes the bullets away. Holy shit, I never knew that. Yes. I, I only what? thought that... See, it, see oh, this is super right. telekinesis. Wow. This is an... Oh, wow, this is very powerful. Holy cow, this character's awesome now. Oh, he's so much better than he used to be. Wow, yeah. Oh, come here. Did it... It didn't always used to do that, right? No. I think that's that it really was, is... No, no, it actually did always push the bolts away, but, but it was so superficial that it was whatever. Uh, it wasn't enough to make it, it, a it, difference. Exactly. It would actually draw the enemies closer to you than it would actually, uh, like, really uh, push the bullets back, and so you would always... In a way that still gets that would still get you killed even faster because it, precisely. But now, especially with this, this upgraded version of it, like before, it wasn't a big deal. But the upgraded version is look at that. That's awesome. No, that totally changes my perspective wow, shoot me, shoot of me, eyes shoot me, shoot me, too. Shoot me! 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 Shoot at me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to do. What What do you want me to do? You You want me to shoot? Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, 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 trigger? Oh, you, oh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, okay, cool. <laughs> Next <All right>. episode. <laughs> uh, question of the day. Um, what is this? Sorry, I. What? What does that mean? What does that mean? What? what? Uh, question of the day. What I does that mean? <laughs> I kind of want to just choose that just to see. I don't want to. Uh, question uh, of the day. I actually want to talk about Eyes' ability. Eyes? Eyes. Eyes. Eyes ability? Eyes ability. Yeah. I think it's technically Eyes's. Whatever. Eyes's. Uh, what it's do you want to talk about? What's the question? Uh, do you think that, I don't know, is it too powerful? Being able to move? I mean, I'm sure that was that was the balance question when they initially made Eyes, right? They, yeah. they were probably afraid of it being too powerful because being able to move bullets like that, that really changes the a The bullets lot. is a thing. To balance it, they made it to also where the enemies move closer to you, so you can't just do it infinitely. Like Otherwise, you would just hold on to the right button the whole time, mm -hmm. but you can't do that because the enemies will come too close to you and just murder you then. Uh, but is that a good balance? Because you mm -hmm. saw me before I got the, this, the upgrade. It, I would occasionally use it and it didn't really seem to affect things a lot but now the super version is literally like four times more powerful yeah so do yes. you think do you think that's a good balancing mm -hmm. cool well thank you very everybody for watching and uh, see you in the next episode as nuclear throne